Hello, today I'm going to show you how to program a key fob to a Ford vehicle. Uh, it goes from 19, I think, 1990, we're going to say 7 and onward. Right now I'm in my dad's 2012 Ford F-150. Now, of course you stumbled on this video because you can't program your key fob. Well, that's what I'm here for. And so, now there's two styles of keys with uh, buttons. You got this one that came originally with the truck, and you got this fob. This will work, or they're, they program the same. Doesn't matter if you have this key fob style or this key fob style, they work the same. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your key, um, you're gonna insert it into the ignition, and you're gonna cycle it on before you, right, uh, before you start it, and back off like that eight times and on the eighth time you're going to leave it in the on position you're going to leave it in the on position you're going to hear the lock cycle when the lock cycle you're going to push a button doesn't matter if it's a lock unlock trunk panic doesn't matter when you do that you're going to hear the lock cycle again and then you remove the key lock the cycle one more time ending the program and you're good so we'll do that Get a lock cycle, take a key fob, hit the button, lock cycle, lock cycle again, and now you're good. Now because this uh, my this is a truck and doesn't have a trunk, the trunk button does not work, but this fob will work. So let's say you have this fob and the keyblade broke and um let's just say getting one of these is more expensive than just a, this fob um well actually that wouldn't work either would it never mind okay so just ignore what i was going to say they're going to say you can just get one of these and uh program it but if the blade is broken then yeah so anyway uh well i guess uh, what what you can do is if this fob is bad, completely bad, you've tried changing batteries, tried programming it, nothing happens, uh, and it ends up being more expensive to get one of these and these, just buy one of these, program it, and just keep it on the key ring. Use this to lock and unlock the car, but have this to put in the ignition and start it. So, and of course, these keys don't go to this truck. It, it's not for this truck, that's what this is for. That goes to the truck. And just to show you, everything still works like it should. So anyway, that is how you program a key fob for a Ford vehicle. Now this works with Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, uh, Mazda of this air, just for like the Mazda Tribute, which is the Ford Escape, the uh, Mercury Mariner, Ford Explorer, no, that's the, the Mercury Mariners, the Escape, Mercury, um, um, I forget what the Mercury version of the Explorer is, but then you got the Mercury Sable, Ford Taurus, things like that. So, I'll show you how to do it one more time. Enter the key, and eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit a fob. And there you go. That's how you program a key fob for Ford Lincoln Mercury. Um, I'm not sure how far back older Fords uh, work for different fob, like a 93 Explorer. Uh, I don't think 93 Explorers had it. Uh, I don't think, but uh, like a 94, 95, I don't know if they're the same process. If they are, well, you can try it. If not, you'll have to look up on the internet the technique on how to program it for that. So anyway, I hope this helped. Like, leave a like, a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. There will be plenty more vehicle uh, programming keys uh, when come available, and other uh, repair videos when I can do them. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.